In multiple videos that I have published, I have advised based on experience, based on what I have seen, based on working with hundreds of people starting in IT or switching into IT from other backgrounds. And I said that keep away from spending six to nine months, hundreds or thousands of dollars on A+, Network+, and CCNA. You just need the core fundamentals and then you go to the modern IT. And in this video, I provided much more details for that advice. And in this last video, I have explained the more relevant and important IT skills that beginners must have as opposed to the old path of A+, Network+, and CCNA. A lot of people came back and they challenged me that, no, there is no way if you are not a CCNA, if you are not a CCNP, if you are not a Cisco guy, you cannot learn the cloud. The cloud is built on data centers. Data centers are networks. So I promised that I'm going to come up with a video that will filter out the important stuff from these certificates and will add to it a lot of the more relevant and in-demand IT skills in a course that is concise, saves money, time, and effort, and get you very quickly to start the next step after the fundamentals, no matter what your career is, and I have fulfilled my promise. The course is now live and it's available. You'll find the details in the description box. It is priced at a very affordable price to be available and affordable by everyone, no matter what the budget is. And this course is going to teach you exactly what you want. No fluff, no overwhelm, in a very basic way, in a very simple way, with lots of hands-on. And guess what? The hands-on is going to be on the AWS cloud. So you're not only learning subnetting and IP addresses and what's a VLAN and what's a switch and what's a router like they do it in the outdated search stacks. It's going to be applied in the cloud. So you will learn AWS. You'll get your hands dirty with AWS. You will build networks in AWS. You will apply and see how the DNS works in AWS. You will apply security and network security in AWS not in a VM on your laptop and not in a sandbox in a real environment that is the real cloud, and that prepares you not only for the fundamentals, but gives you a feel what cloud engineering looks like. Does it end here? No, it doesn't end here. We are going to take you through a detailed security or network security or firewalls fundamentals through the AWS cloud. A full section is on that. And does it end here? No, it does not end here. I'm going to take you through what is a DNS, and then we are going to go to the cloud and find out how the DNS works in the cloud. How does it work on your laptop? And it doesn't end here as well. I'm going to take you through a section where I'm going to explain to you at an overview level, at a basic level, what is Docker? And we're going to launch a container and we're going to browse to that container and find out how it works. We'll tie that and its importance to Kubernetes. Why do we need Kubernetes? And then it will take you and explain to you, okay, fine, but then we have containers and Kubernetes. What do they do in the microservices and the cloud native realm or world that everyone is talking about? Doesn't end there. I'm going to take you through a basic introduction to Git and GitHub, hands on. So you know what version control is and why it is important and why it is a must to have in your toolbox. And it doesn't end here as well. I'm going to take you through Terraform. You have already played with AWS hands on and manual. Why don't you use infrastructure as code, which is Terraform, to do something that you have already done? So you can see the difference and you know why it is important to learn Terraform. It doesn't end there. An introduction to Linux and bash scripting will also get you to the point where you understand why do you have to learn Linux and what is bash scripting is going to help you with. A lot of the modern IT tools that you must have under your belt this is a good introduction to give you a feel of what it is and why it is important to learn. When you have all of this, we don't leave you there. But since we did not commit to any career, why don't we explore DevOps? Why don't we explore site reliability engineering? Why don't we explore platform engineering, which are buzzwords and important and key roles in IT today? So you have done cloud engineering, you have done network, you have done security on the network side in the cloud, you have done cloud security, why don't you as well do these roles or explore these roles and find out what they're all about? And after we present all of that in a career coaching section, 
I'm going to show you what are the common skills that are going to be beneficial in any one of these jobs. So that way you know what is appealing to you or maybe we help you get to that point or at least you know what you want to explore next. By doing this, we not only prepare you for the fundamentals, but also you have been exposed to a lot of career options and roles that are relevant and in high demand in modern IT. After that, even if you decide to go for network and network security, that's fine. We have introduced you to it. You have acquired a lot of fundamentals necessary. And then the Network Plus and CCNA and CCNP, if you decide to take that as next steps towards an aspiration into network engineering or network security, is going to be a much lower step to climb as opposed if you start fresh into these boring, full of fluff courses. So no other course in the world today does what or provides what this course provides. I challenge you to find one that covers it in this approach to save you time, money, and energy. And with the pricing, with the affordable pricing as well, I don't think you have an excuse not to start in IT right now and find out in a month or maybe less, depending on the time you put, if this is something that you would like to explore or not. And if yes, then what will be your next step? So it's a complete guide for beginners and career switchers in IT. And even for the ones that have started in IT the wrong way, come back, start right, and then find out what will be the next steps and career options and roadmaps. So without further ado, I have delivered what I promised and at an affordable price to everyone, as I mentioned. And you will have the option to also buy it on Udemy if you would like to in the next few days. But in Udemy, you will only get the Q&A in Udemy support. On our platform, you get at a little bit higher price, you will get the Discord channel, the instructor who is available and the responses that are fast and also working with others as you all begin your career in IT the right way. So it's up to you, whichever you want, you will find the information in the description box. And again, this is the response to all of those who have challenged Dolphin Ed Academy in general and myself in person that you cannot start in IT without A+, Network+, Plus, and CCNA. Now it is possible using this unique course that is second to none. So the promise is delivered. Now it's your turn to start working the right way on your first steps in IT. I'll see you in class. Thank you.